Hey everyone, it's Jordan and Barry here of the Brownstone Boys, and today we are reporting live from our living room. We are bundled inside right now because it is getting very, very cold here in New York City. But today we are reflecting back on a trip that we took about four weeks ago, and it was a very special trip because it was my birthday. We planned many days, many months on the perfect birthday trip. And when I say we, I really <laughs> meant Barry. It was me. It, and it was amazing. It was the absolute perfect spot. The most amazing house with the most amazing views and good food and good people. Well, we are in the home space. We love good design and we love good home. Home has different meaning for everybody. And this was a trip that we really wanted to make special because we were taking six of our closest friends with us on a journey and we wanted it to be the perfect environment and we think we nailed it and we want to show you guys the point house let's look at our trip at costa rica so this was the most perfect house it was perched out on rocks where we had a 360 degree view of the ocean, the beach, the mountain. It was a big trip for us. We went with six of our closest friends and it wasn't on the cheap side, or at least the Airbnb wasn't, but collectively between sharing the space with eight people, it is perfect for a big celebration or a big group outing. And we really made sure we did our research beforehand to find the perfect environment that we would all be able to enjoy. So we drove up to this house. We just couldn't believe it. Our jaws dropped to the floor. Even from the front of the house, there's the most amazing views and we're looking at the waves crashing on the rocks. It was just the most gorgeous setting. And the outdoor space was really the best feature. There was so much outdoor space, outdoor dining, pool, lounge areas, an area for yoga. And we had a, a special place where we met for coffee every morning as well. So the outdoor space really took the cake, but in the inside, there was a beautiful kitchen. Uh, we did a lot of cooking while we were there. We also had a private chef come and make Jordan a really amazing birthday dinner one night. Uh, but it was just a perfect house for a group of four. There were four bedrooms. And what was really fun is you actually had to go outside to get to the bedroom. So it was this nice outdoor indoor feeling. Like so that. every space had its own entrance, its own bathroom. Or the bedrooms upstairs did share a bathroom, but they were so large and the space was so accommodating for a group setting that it really didn't bother us at all. Costa Rica is also wonderful for adventure. And we were overwhelmed with how much we actually wanted to do in Costa Rica. But some of our takeaways, our highlights from the trip were the zip lining trip. Fortunately, I chickened out, but <laughs> Barry and a couple of our friends went ahead and powered through zip lining over the beautiful jungles of Costa Rica. The water features in Costa Rica were phenomenal. We did a really beautiful hike where at the end we repelled on rope to a volcano that was very adventurous on all of our ends, but it was definitely one that we all will remember. And we also loved, of course, we're big eaters. We love the food and the fresh fruits in Costa Rica. Really fresh produce. And Costa Rica is one of the biggest destinations in the world for surfing. We, we don't surf, so we decided to take lessons, which was really great. And there's a great surf beach at uh, Tamarindo, which is very close to where we stayed. It was perfect for beginners. And we were just all so happy to be able to get up on the board in our first time. <laughs> so booking the Airbnb was seamless. Our Airbnb host, Melissa, was in constant communication with us and we were even fortunate enough to meet her because she taught a yoga class that was offered through the services of running out the Airbnb. Here's a little look back at our interview with Melissa. So we just finished a really amazing yoga class with the homeowner and also yoga instructor, Melissa. And this has been just such an incredible stay for us and your house is just so overwhelmingly beautiful. But I was wondering if you could just tell us a little bit about like the history of the house. So the house was built in 73. And my dad bought it in the early 80s. And it used to be like very typical Costa Rican house with brown floors. Yeah, okay, the terrazzo kind of uh -huh. floor. Really dark bathrooms, you know, like almost brown, black type of tiles and wow. toilets. But so it's, we've, we've done a little work into it. 
Looking back on this is so hard since it's freezing in New York right now, but we loved it and we're so glad we went down there because I feel like we found a place that we're going to just return to again and again. Yeah, the memories we created are for one for a lifetime. I'm looking forward to looking back on this video and reminiscing of our trip. And you really should book a trip for yourselves and we highly recommend the Point House in Costa Rica. Subscribe to our channel below and we'll see you on the next one. Bye everyone. It's really hard, but we are signing off. Bye Costa Rica.